Yeah, I guess I'll go first. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about, you know, Bree Jones just coming into her own this season and obviously last season too. How have you seen her grown just off the court these past two years of stepping up in roles that are very, step up, stepping up in these new roles for her? Um, I think Bree is just getting, or Bree is just reaping the benefits of her work. Um, I've played with her in Maryland and she's always been a hard worker, always in the gym getting extra shots up, doing whatever she can to get better. And so I knew it was just only a matter of time when she got the league where she would be able to step into her own and make a name for herself. So being like being able to actually witness it and being able to like, play with her and seeing her just how far she's grown as a player, as a woman, um, it's just amazing to see. And we're just really so happy. Y'all. We meet Bree. She's one of the sweetest people you ever meet. And, you know, she deserves this. And she just always just put her head down in work. She's came a long way. So for her to finally get the recognition, recognition that she deserves, um, which is a great thing. And she's going to be one of the best to, you know, put on a Connecticut Sun jersey and also play in the game. Thank you. Of course. Um, I guess I can go. Um, hi, I'm Jessa with Just Women Sports. Um, just kind of wondering, you guys obviously have more of an extended break than the other teams. How are you kind of uh, strategizing and keeping your focus and heads in it until um, your game in the semi? Yeah, we're still watching film on ourselves. Um, we a lot of self scouting, we a lot of things that we can fix within our base, within our system. Um, and so we're still getting after it. And then in practice, you know, we're watching film as if we were playing the game and it's more of a scrimmage. So we're still, you know, getting that conditioning, but it's not as intense as a game. So we have that balance of getting the proper rest, being able to utilize the double by, but also, you know, making sure that we're prepared and ready um, for our game next Tuesday. Perfect. Thank you. Um, Alexa, she said you could just talk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Hi, Kyla. Um, hey. With uh, the playoffs starting today, um, I assume you guys are obviously paying attention to like the games and who's playing and who's doing what. Um, is it more so just for fun? Are you doing a little like scouting like early? Or, like, what are you, anything you're looking forward to with the games tonight? Um, it's a little bit of both. For me personally, I'm a basketball fanatic, so I watch basketball from NBA, college, WBA, so it doesn't matter. I'm going to be tuned in. I know my teammates are going to be tuned in. We have some really good matchups. You know, the playoffs, it's a different, it's a different, you know, type of game, type of level, you know, intensity. So we know it's just going to be a good game to watch. Um, but also, we don't necessarily know who we're playing, but it, it's a good thing to just, you know, be aware of what's going on in the playoffs, see how some teams are coming out, and just be prepared because you never know um, who we're going to uh, get yet. So um, I just think we're more excited just to watch the competition. Like It's going to be some really, really good games tonight um, between Chicago and Dallas and New York and Phoenix. And I'm just really excited to see them battle it out, um, you know, from my couch <laughs> and just, you know, be able to rest and have some good entertainment. So, yeah. I saw some stat and – I should probably go back and confirm it, but it said that like Connecticut, you guys have like the most playoff game experience. I think it was, I, if I remember correctly by a sizable margin, um, like compared to any other team in the playoffs mm -hmm. and just having been through that experience last year, I know it was in the bubble and I know it was like, you guys were actually playing single elimination games at that point, but how do you personally feel just like knowing you have that playoff ex experience in your back pocket, you've been in a semifinals before going into, you know, the playoffs this time around. Um, it definitely helps because I know what to expect, you know, uh, coming in last year, I didn't realize, or I, not, I didn't realize, but it's just a different game when you step into the playoffs, it's more intense, it's more physical, um, it's just more energy, like you get really amped up, so um, being able to have that under my belt last year is making me mentally more prepared and knowing what to expect. Um, luckily this year we have the double buy, so we get those extra breaks, those extra days, but uh, yeah, it's really good to know that we have experience on all different levels. We have veterans who's been to championships, who's been to finals, game five, you know, in those big games. And they're just staying in our ears and they're just telling us what we need to do in order to be successful. So, um, like I said earlier, we just got to come in every single day, um, focus on us, what we can do better, and just making sure that we're improving every day. Great. Thanks, Kyla. You're welcome. Any other questions for Kyla? Oh, thank you.
Thank you. Alexa? Hey, Bree. Uh, what was it like? Uh, we saw the videos, but to um, you know, learn yesterday that you were AP's most improved player. Uh, it was great. Uh, you know, just uh, seeing the excitement from all my teammates and uh, the coaches that had everybody was just, uh, it's a great feeling. Um, you know, uh, coming to the season, it's not something that I, that I expected, or, uh, but, um, you know, after uh, going through it and, you know, uh, everything that I put in, um, you know, in the offseason, just uh, being able to uh, finish it out with this, uh, it's, it's just really special. And I, I asked uh, Kyla this, but I guess you guys are going to be, you know, watching the games tonight, even though um, you don't know who you'll be playing next week. But um, is there anything you're excited about watching or looking forward to seeing um, from any of the matchups tonight? Uh, I mean, I'm just looking forward to, uh, you know, seeing some good games and uh, seeing, you know, who's going to the next round. Um, so we're just closer to knowing who we're going to play uh, and then, you know, excited to get back on court. Um, but I think just, you know, getting an early look at some of the teams, um, just so, you know, get some early eyes on uh, who, who we might play. Great, thank you. Sorry, Maddie. Um, yeah, so, you know, Curtis talked a lot about these past two years with JJ gone last season and now AT this season, he, you know, he thrusted you into that role. Um, if you can remember back last year before going to the bubble or as you guys were going into the bubble, knowing that JJ wasn't going to be there, and then this off season knowing that AT wasn't going to be here, what were your feelings like knowing that um, you were going to have to jump into this brand, jump into this much larger role than you had been used to your previous three seasons on the team? Yeah, um, going into the bubble when, when we first found out that uh, JJ was coming, um, you know, immediately my first thought was like, oh my goodness, like who's uh, who's going to start? Like who's the next person up? Um, so then I'm like, well, that's me. <laughs> Um, and then I just, I, you know, I tried to you know, just mentally prepare myself to uh, be able to uh, be ready and do what I need to do, um, whatever I need to do for the team to be successful. And then uh, coming in this season, um, knowing that AT was going to be here, I kind of had a little bit more heads up uh, this time, this time around. But uh, I think that I just came in the season, um, you know, wanted to think like, uh, why, 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 why can't I be that next person? Uh, why not? So I think I just came in with that mindset of. Uh, whatever I can do to help this team be better, what, what can I do to be better um, as a player on our court? And I think coming with that mindset definitely allowed me to um, be prepared and be ready to step up and into that, that new role. Thank you. Jessa? Hello, Brianna. Thanks for doing this. I'm Jessa with Just Women Sports. Um, is there anyone who stands out to you who's maybe like pushed you or inspired you this year? Is there anyone, sorry. Is there anyone who stands out to you this season who's really pushed you or inspired you? Um, I mean, honestly, it's like, there's so many people in my game that pushed me this season. Um, just, uh, you know, from start to start to finish the season, I think. Um, but I think, I said, there's a lot of names going through my head. <laughs> okay, well, we'll narrow it down. How about anyone like, I mean, obviously your team and coach probably inspire you and push you every day, but like, how about outside of your team? Who would you say? I would say my mom, uh, she definitely pushed me and inspired me uh, every day. I think uh, when I talk to her, she's always excited uh, about how they're playing, how they're doing, and uh, just, just, you know, seeing that joy that she's having, uh, the season that we're having, and um, just me out there being able to play with my sister this season, uh, it's been great. And, um, just. You know, just fills me with joy. And I go out there and try to play with that every day. I think um, some of my kids would say, like, whenever something happens with a crowd, I'm always smiling. I'm like, I enjoy, I enjoy playing. I enjoy doing this. I think just having that joy um, for my teammates, for my, for my mom, for my family, um, it allows me to play better. Thank you. <laughs> Any other questions for Brianna? All right. Okay, next up we have assistant coach Brandy Poole. Uh, for those of you who have questions, raise your hand. Alexa. Hey, Brandy, how's it going? Hi, Alexa. Um, I asked Kurt this yesterday, but would love your thoughts on this as well. Um, where do you think you've seen the most improvement in Breezy? Just obviously she's taken advantage of the opportunities that you know have come 
to her with, you know, different people being out, but in terms of like specific areas of improvement from, you know, her first few seasons or she was not playing a lot to, to now, where do you think she's grown the most? Um, one, just her confidence, her confidence and her belief in herself and her teammates belief in her. Like, I just, I think we all know that when Breezy touches the ball, something good is going to happen on the offensive end of the floor. Um, just scoring her rebounding. Um, and then what a lot of people don't realize is behind the ball defensively, Breezy is so good. Um, at like just helping us behind the ball and, and then rebounding. Um, so I just think for her, it's, it's a big part of her confidence and her, her teammates, she knows her teammates have faith in her as well. With that confidence, especially with you guys actually looking to her to really win games for you at points this season. Um, you know, she's such a soft-spoken person, you know, at least to us. So what's it been like to see kind of that part of her game, like the confidence specifically emerge and, and her to actually kind of unleash that, I guess. Yeah, I mean, Breezy is like the best human on this planet. Anybody that knows her knows that, you know, like she's just an incredible teammate. She's just, she's just so steady, right? Never too high, never too low. Um, she's just steady. You know what you're going to get from her night in and night out. Um, and, and so she's just, yeah, she's just a great human. <laughs> great. Thank you. Thanks, Alexa. Yes, Hello, uh, thanks for doing this. I'm uh, with Just Women's Sports. Um, just kind of building off that last question and reflecting on, uh, well, what Brianna has done well this season, kind of going forward, what are your challenges um, to her going into the semifinals? Um, you know, I don't, I don't think anything changes, right? Like we are just trying to get better at what we do and keep doing what we do. And that's, you know, um, everybody's staying consistent and just getting a little bit better here and there, like on the defensive end of the floor and the offensive end of the floor. Breezy, we know she's going to play good defense night in and night out. Um, we know we can count her rebound, we can count her to finish. So I don't think anything changes. You know, we're just working every day to get better and, and, and keep, keep this momentum rolling. Thank you. Any other questions for Brady? Awesome. Thank you.